Hey everybody and oh, welcome back to my channel. It's Belanda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my handbag collection. This is the first time I'm actually showing you guys my entire collection. I've been collecting for the past two years. So since 2020, when the pandemic happened, I normally traveled. I normally went out to eat. So I was like, you know what? I guess let's start getting into luxury <laughs> at that point. That's when I started accumulating these bags. Now I did some unboxing over the time. So maybe, just maybe, if I honestly feel like it, I will link down below the unboxings for some of these bags. I'm pretty sure I'll unbox all of them on camera, but we'll see, I don't know. So I did my LCLG collection and my tote collection. If you are interested, I will link those links down below. Okay, so first thing first, I wanna make sure y'all know, just as everybody else could come on here and brag about their sugar daddies and their sponsors and their friends, purchasing them bags and all of that good stuff, hey sis or mister, if that's your case, proud of you, do your thing. But for me, I purchased all of these myself with my own coins, at my own pace, on my own time. So guess what? Nobody could come and take none of this from me, okay? Because I purchased it. Who? Walanda. Me. Right now in society, it is bragged about that you have to have a man to buy you nice things. You have to have a man to live your life. You got to have a man to... Uh, no, you don't. You can honestly get whatever you want as long as you purchase it yourself have your own coins. So I am super proud of what I have accumulated over these years because at the end of the day, I wasn't raised on luxury designer items at all. My mom didn't get her first designer bag until recently when I unboxed it on my channel for her birthday. That's her first designer bag. So it's not something I was brought up on. So being able to purchase these items with my own coins on my own, I am super, super proud and super, super fortunate to be able to do so. With that being said, these bags do not define me. These bags are not my identity. If something was to happen to these bags, yes, it would hurt because I spent my own money on them. But at the same time, like they're just bags. They don't instill value in me. You know, yeah, they're beautiful to look at. They're beautiful to have, beautiful to, dress up, but at the same time, they are not Walanda. I was good, I was Walanda, I was beautiful, I was slaying all before I got these bags. But guess what, I'ma continue slay and be beautiful and be Walanda and be who I am if something were to happen to these bags, <laughs> period. So I currently have, I think, 13 bags. One of them are, is gonna be a reveal because I never actually presented it or unboxed it on my channel. I was leaving it to put all together with the collection because it's only one bag. And honestly, I thought I was gonna get more, but I'll get into that a little bit later. All right, so let's get into the first bag. My first designer bag I've ever purchased before in my life it was yes this dng dulce and gabbana um this is the devotion bag and oof, the dust <clears throat> it's been a minute since i took these bag out yes this was the first bag that i picked up y'all i think i was just bored at the house and i was like you know what let me go ahead and start watching Luxury hauls, seeing this one YouTuber pull this out on her haul, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful bag. Honestly, I do not regret at all picking this bag up, even though I quickly realized this is not the type of bag that, I, that I'm drawn to anymore. But I was able to transform this bag into something I can use. You have to click this little thing down below in order to release the lock for you to open it. It's a very simple bag. This is my date night bag. So if I'm going out to eat for dinner or if I'm like, we'll get really cute, dressed up, night out. Not a night out, like a party night out, but like a sophisticated eating dinner, sitting down events type of night out. Love this bag so much. 
Um, I'm quite surprised being that this is my first bag that I still have it and I'm still in love with it because a lot of the times we make mistakes when it comes to our first purchases and we look back, we're like, nah, I, that's not really fitting me anymore. But this definitely still suits me. I love wearing this. Now, I know I purchased this pre-loved. I want to say it was, I think I did get this from Fashion Fall, so I did get a discount on it, and it was pre-loved. The second item I picked up at this point, I don't even remember. I wanna say it's either this one or the next one I'm gonna show you, but let me go ahead and pick this one up. I absolutely love this bag, y'all. Like, honestly, this is how I know I was a top handle girl when I picked up this Saint Laurent Sac de Joux bag. Absolutely love it. And I honestly could have picked this up in a traditional safe color, a black, a, a neutral, but I wanted a color that I know is gonna be hard for me to find in another bag. So I picked this one up. One thing is it was on sale on Farfetch back when YSL had sales on Farfetch. <sighs> the good old days, the good old days. Honestly, I think this is the only bag that I have that has silver hardware. I literally wear this so much. Absolutely love this bag. Like if I was a hoarder and would buy multiples of one bag, then I would get another one, one of this. But this is the bag that made me know that I am such a Birkin girl and not a Kelly because I love walking around holding my bags like this. I just love the look of the two handles. Definitely one of my most used bags. I recently did get my first Oran sandals from Hermes and it is the perfect color for this. So I match them up all the time. But yeah, enough with this bag. I love it, can't get enough of it. It's such a spacious bag. It comes with a strap. I don't use a strap literally at all. I just keep it in here for storage. Absolutely love this bag. Like I said, if I was a hoarder, I would get another one, but I'm not, so this is gonna be my only one. <laughs> Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. All right, so I wanna say after this, I honestly don't remember <laughs> what comes next. It all started to spiral down into the luxury loop hole. So let me try my best to go with what came next. This is my third bag, which I absolutely love so much. It's, it's kind of like, it's not falling apart, but it's been used. She has been used. I absolutely love this bag. Let me close this so y'all can see how it look. It is my, Dolce & Gabbana DNG Sicily bag, but this is a size mini, I wanna say. Mini, no, nano, I think. I think, I think it's nano. Anyways, it is in this brown camera color. I specifically purchased this bag as an errand bag, everyday bag. I remember I did pick this up from 24S. Sorry, y'all, I just like it like this. It being closed like that is getting on my nerves, to be honest. This was my first bag from 24s.com. I absolutely really, really love that site. The packaging came, wow. The experience of purchasing online from them during the pandemic was such a luxury experience for me. So I absolutely love that. Ooh, all of these got this. It's how the back look, it has Dolce & Gabbana written right there. It does have a back pocket in here. Uh eye drops. I love how the strap on here is not that long, which makes it perfect for a crossbody size for me, even though it is adjustable. Ooh, but it's adjustable to get shorter. So if you're tall, it's probably not going to honestly fit y'all, but the straps are removable. So if I want a, you know, a handheld opportunity i have it but i like i said it is for errands that's all i use it for i love 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 this bag because it goes through everything like every time water drops on it because i think this is napa leather because it's napa leather the water drops do stain it but it doesn't stain it for long like once the water drops on it 
it does turn blue, but then it evaporates and there's nothing there. So I absolutely love that. This bag has been through hell and back when it comes to being squished in my luggage, when it comes to shoving up against things, when it comes to just carelessly picking it up, throwing around, doing all of that. Like it is a sturdy bag. It's not tarnishing. Like it's nothing is scraping off. I've had this for two years and it's still going strong. I absolutely love this bag. The next one I picked up is this beautiful Burberry. Oh, <laughs> backwards. <laughs> this Burberry title bag, y'all. I absolutely love this bag. I remember I got this bag for my birthday. I wanna say it was for my birthday. It was just right before my birthday. Uh, for 2020 when I went to DR that was the first time I actually used the bag and I really love this bag because it's just so sophisticated and I love me a structured bag now at this point I knew I was a top handle girl but I didn't know I was a two handle top handle girl but I've been contemplating whether I wanted to sell it or not because it doesn't get as much love as the others I think because it's that one handle but I don't have anything else like this this color and honestly burberry doesn't have a really good resale value even though this bag has gone up in price i don't think i'm gonna get all my money and i already don't have a bag this color so i might as well just keep it right yeah i might as well i will definitely use it um throughout time even though i don't use it that much still still love it the color even though it's not a very photogenic color i'm gonna be honest like i realize light colors Oh no, they're not photogenic, especially at night with flash. They just wash out. So I've learned my lesson on that. It does come with a strap, which I don't use because I use it for dinners. I use it for brunches, stuff like that. It's such a good bag. Like the leather and everything is such a good bag. Split in the middle and two sides. These are just uh, dust bags that I use to make it sure it stays stuff and structured but yeah it's just a very simple bag no pockets on the outside what i realized was which was quite annoying at first is the fact that it does swing a lot especially when i'm walking so i gotta make sure i proportionately put my stuff in there i have to make sure this is a little heavier in the front you just gotta work with it that's all it is um, but other than that, I made a decision not to sell the bag. I really, really like it. And look, I don't use this so much. The, the thing is still on here. The, the blue plastic is still on here. That's how much I don't use the straps. I, have, I don't think I've ever used a strap on here. But I'm going to go out of order just a little bit right now. Since I realized I'm not a one-handle type of girl, I remember I was coming from Paris coming to Dubai and in the airport I seen this bag I was like oh my goodness I gotta have it so I got it <laughs> they came with the updated version of the title bag it came with the two handle version of the title bag I just showed you guys from Burberry I was like this is me this is me i love this bag so much this bag literally screams boss boss the color of it the structure of it the feel of it like this is a boss i don't know this is giving me old money type of boss i just absolutely love this bag the difference between this one and the other one is that the middle part which had the handle is a zip pocket instead other than that oh and then um there's another zip pocket inside on this side oh and there's a slot on this side so those are the differences when it comes to this bag let me see what's in here oh the strap is in here i've never used a strap i know that for sure this is a top handle oof now i did use this a couple times i don't use this often at all to be honest one it is a heavy bag 
this bag, I'm just holding it. This bag itself, there's nothing in here but this bag and the strap. And this is a heavy bag on its own. If I have a lot of stuff that I need to carry with me, then I carry this bag. Other than that, this is not a real a bag that I really go and carry because it's such a heavy bag and it's such a big bag for it to be. This is a small version of the title bag. So this is a good space bag for the price that I got as well. So I absolutely love this bag. I'm not gonna get rid of it because it is everything that I like in the bag. It has the feet at the bottom, it's gold hardware. It is made really, really well. There's nothing coming out. There's no defects. The structure is very, very good. The leather on it is superb. Um, there's no, like, I can't complain. Like. The handles are not wearing out. There's like nothing I can complain about this bag. So I'm so glad I did purchase it. I was debating whether to sell this title bag since I purchased this one. But like I said, I don't have anything this color. So I might as well just keep this and have fun with it. This is my serious Burberry and this is my fun daytime Burberry I guess so I'm just going to keep both and just use what I have all right so let me go ahead and slide this one in real quick even though it's not a high high-end designer bag it is a designer bag even though it is look entry level <laughs> luxury level i do have this bag from strathberry honestly i remember when i purchased this google told me that they had a sale and i was like you know what let me go check the bag out and i did my little research seeing this one in uh, for a good price i do not remember how much it cost at that point but i decided to pick it up the thing about this bag is it is croc emboss mock croc emboss but it's not the shiny patent look so i like how matte it is because even though it looks very luxe it is not like bam in your face type of you know patent which i really don't care for so i did purchase this straight off the strathberry website really really like this purse it is the size nano the thing about this bag is the fact that I don't pick it up so much because I do live in Dubai now and this color is giving me much more fall, winter vibes and we are in December and it's still hot outside. So I don't get that, you know, wintry, uh, fall, burgundy vibe here. So I don't pick this up much. But the plan is if I do decide to do a wintry wonderland off somewhere very cold very icy this is going to be the bag that i take along with me i will give all the other bags a break because this is literally going to be a seasonal bag for me but yeah i picked it up a couple times when i was in atlanta because it does get cold there during the winter but here i just haven't picked it up honestly it's been collecting dust it's such a beautiful bag it's so luxe inside i think it's like probably microfiber i want to say that's the type of feel it is maybe not i don't know but it is an open bag <laughs> an open type bag and it has a slot right there on the side it does come with a strap Oof. oh and it's magnetic so it will close even if you don't close it with gold strap with it it's such a beautiful bag the way you can like lock it closed is by doing this which is so unique to me and so different compared to a lot of designer bags out there so i really really love that aspect about it it is a detachable um strap situation going on gold hardware strap area in gold right here absolutely love it. it has feet like it takes a lot and this is i think in the size nano they have different sizes i was thinking about maybe getting a bigger size but i was like well on the why why do you need a bigger size for it? This definitely fits all my essentials, especially if it's going to be my winter bag. I'm not gonna be carrying a lot of things in my bag during the winter, so absolutely love this. Had to definitely throw this in here because it's still a designer bag. All right, my next bag, I absolutely love, 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 love this bag. This is my YSL Lulu in the size small. This is in a linen 
material absolutely love this bag i remember when i first purchased this bag because this bag was over 2k i got it in atlanta at neiman marcus and i seen it online at first and i was thinking oh my goodness this is such a high pricey bag because at that point i don't think i was spending over 2k on bags so i just put it in my cart i ended up having a friend come to atlanta and decided to buy me some gucci sneakers at that point i wasn't wearing gucci sneakers um, i wasn't wearing gucci at all so i was like instead of me getting this gift and not really using it i might as well return it and get something that i actually want so i did have to pay for the remaining cost of this bag but it was well worth it because i absolutely love 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 this bag it is in this dark taupey color there's no pockets on the bag if y'all know the lulu bag there's no feet as well for the size small and the lulu bag is a long strand long st strand yeah long strand string strand <laughs> long strand bag but y'all know i don't like bags like that i love me a cute little top handle to carry around so what i did just like i did with my dng is i put these um safety pins in here so it can lock these straps long strap bag there we go strap string what was that what anyway so it could lock the strap for me not to have to wear it long ways over my shoulders Y'all already know how the Lulu look like. It is two pockets. No, it's one pocket in the middle. What I'm talking about, y'all already recorded this part. This is why I'm trying to like go quickly. But apparently I didn't click record or my camera stopped. So here I am doing it again. Yeah, so inside it is, there's a zipper pocket in the middle. I do keep my bags that are a little less structured stuff so it could remain structured because if you can see these bags tend to crease if it's not stored properly like this bag literally introduced me to texture bag other than leather other than mock croc boss mock croc boss mock croc emboss <laughs> i don't know i'm just so glad i got this bag instead of a uh, lulu in a leather i already have a lulu in a leather a big one i did get the large version i do have the bigger in a black leather so i'm glad i first initially got this in a different texture so i don't repeat because y'all know i don't like my repeats in uh my collection so yeah all right so then this back is this christian louboutin palmetto i think that's what it's called to be honest i was so debating on selling this only because i realized i wasn't reaching for it a lot and the reason i wasn't reaching for it a lot i came to realize is just the fact that i'm not a beigey neutral type of girl like i only have probably like two things that's this color beigey nude and i really don't gravitate towards this color itself is very hard to pair up for my skin tone and what i wear i really have to be in all white or in denim for this to really go well for me um i guess i could pair this with black like this would be cute even though my signature look is my red lip and that really goes well with the christian blue red but yeah i really just wasn't gravitating towards so much especially in atlanta but i realized here i've picked it up a lot more so maybe because it's warmer a lot of the time here i can pick up a lot of these pieces more than i would as soon as fall to winter hit then a lot of these pieces i'm like uh they're more summery and spring but being that i have warmer weather year around i am picking this up a lot more it's just a very open bag y'all know i love me a two handle top handle bag i love me a square bag i don't know why i just do um it has feet on the bottom oh yeah it has a zipper pocket on the inside too but this is such a cute bag to wear if you do want privacy in there you could actually zip it close like that so i think that is really really cute but i don't need it yeah it has the little signature red bottom right here it's such a pretty bag this is in the raffia material so it's very summer 
vibe is. I really actually came to love this bag since I've been in Dubai. I picked it up a lot more than I was back in the States. Where did I buy this? Did I buy it online? I think so. I think I bought it online. I think I remember seeing, I think I bought it online. Pretty sure I bought it online. All right, what we have next? Y'all, I love this bag and y'all see me wearing it on my birthday. Uh, what's it called? Oh, my birthday staycation here in Dubai in September. I love this bag. I picked this bag up from 24s.com. This was the second bag that I got from them. And the thing is, what I love about this bag, and y'all could tell with my collection, a lot of the pieces I have are unique pieces. So I wouldn't, I don't know if they're necessarily limited edition or they're just a few of them that drop. Like for example, that YSL linen bag, even though there's a lot of small Lulu bags produced, I don't think they made any more linen bags like that in that color. So I'm glad I picked that up when I did. Same for the Raffia Louboutin one. So this is another bag that I have where you cannot get this anywhere because it was hard for me to get my hands on it in the first place. So what had happened was I seen this bag on 24S and I wanted to get it so bad. I went into Saks in the Phipps Plaza Mall in Atlanta and they only had the regular size. They didn't have the mini. This is in the mini version. I was very much discouraged. I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and purchase it on uh, 24S. This was not a cheap bag. This was, I think, 21 or 2500 for this bag. So I was really like, Walanda, you really going up there? You really going up there? But I'm glad I did because 24S was the only place that had the mini version in this canvas leather. 24S was the only one that had this exact spec on their website. This was nowhere else. Not on Fendi, not in Saks, nowhere else. So I'm glad I picked it up. My favorite bag of all time. Honestly, I don't wear it much because I'm just so scared to get it dirty. I am not scared to wear or manhandle or use and abuse my bags at all. But this one, I know mm -mm, I cannot because it's gonna be hard to clean, especially this color. So I can already tell since I've been in Dubai because the air is very dusty. It did get a little yellow. I want to say it was a little bit brighter, a little bit whiter than this. And I have not even apple guarded. I really need to do so. I've been telling myself to do so. Uh, did I tell y'all what it is? It is the Fendi baguette. Sorry, y'all. If y'all don't know, now you know. It is the Fendi baguette. I love the baguette. Honestly, I want another baguette probably in a medium size but in the zuka print like the traditional fendi print the new version <laughs> so pretty i tried it on so many times in stores but i'm like do i need another baguette and i know that baguette i can definitely wear more a lot more because it's gonna be hard to see if it's dirty but i don't know Walanda. do you really need another one i don't know this one is so beautiful. I love it so much. The top handle is detachable, so you could take it off and um, add another strap if you want, or you could just attach another strap. It did come with a strap, which I forgot to bring with me because this is such a small bag. I don't keep the strap in here, but I think it's just a basic strap they always give with the Fendi bags. It's a big, uh, space bag with just slots right here for cars and that's basically it this is nothing but a dust bag i always keep it stuff with a dust bag it's such a pretty bag i absolutely love it i literally have to wash my hands before touching it because i'm so scared i'm not even scared when it comes to having any of my stuff but this and my couch i'm so scared because they're almost about the same color this is just a little more creamy but yeah, I absolutely, oof, dust is everywhere. Yay. I, I really love this bag, y'all. I can't. All right, the next bag, I did an unboxing. I think this is like one of my popular unboxing videos on YouTube. And that is this bag right here. 
for everybody who keeps on asking me on that video, do I still love it? Do I still care about it? Do I still wear it? I absolutely still love this bag. It was a pretty penny. Um, at that point when I purchased this bag, this was my most expensive bag. This is an all leather bag from Louis Vuitton and it is the On The Go Mini. I think so. Or the On The Go PM, <laughs> the, not the Mini. On The Go PM. I really still love this bag. They have so many different colors and variations now. This was the first drop of this bag that they ever did. I'm still happy I picked the black one. I'm still happy I picked this up when I did because the price increases for Louis Vuitton is ridiculous for what they are selling and a lot of them are not even leather anymore. They're mainly canvas and they have a lot of ridiculous colors. So I'm so glad with my purchase when I picked this up, when I did back in 2021. So I picked this up last year. I've had this for only a year. I did pick this up in store. I think I went in store and bought it or I bought it online and went to Linux and picked that up one of them. Cause y'all know I, I wasn't playing with Linux after a while being in the mall. Yeah, y'all know how this looks like. I'll talk about this in a little bit. If you guys have not seen my SLG collection, I'll leave it down below, but I brought this with me on purpose for the next bag. All right, so on the inside is like a microfiber lining. It has a zip pocket. Oh, you know what? The strap is in here. Ah, Y'all, I've been looking for this strap. I was like, where in the world did I put this strap? I thought I somehow lost it in the moving process but i was like well Londa, you you be very careful and know exactly where your stuff is how in the world i don't know why i would for some reason i just needed the strap for one day and i could not for the life of me figure out where i put the strap and i know i always take care and put my stuff exactly where i could find it so yeah i was feeling it and i was like this is lumpy makes sense it has a zip pocket and then it has some slots right here for your phone and everything but honestly because it's such a big bag i always have this in here to keep all my personal items in and this bag has this little clip this little d clip i think that's what it's called you could just do that to close it but i don't ever need to do that especially here in dubai i don't need to do that at all so i just keep this in here so i still love this bag i still feel so posh when i'm carrying this bag it's such a lightweight bag where i could put a lot of stuff in it and it's not gonna be heavy just like that title bag i show y'all on its own, it's such a lightweight bag. The only thing is it doesn't have feet, like I mentioned before, but I haven't had any problems with scuffing or anything. Yes, yeah, so yes, I really, really adore this bag. Okay, so the next two bags, I did get them when I traveled, so they have memories attached to the bag. This is when I started to get my souvenirs as like a designer piece, a bag, where I go to different places. For example, that Burberry bag with the plaid, I know exactly where I got it from. I got it from the Paris airport on my way to Dubai. So they, it has a, a story behind it. And this was, I think my first bag that I decided to make a story behind my travel location. So for my 28th birthday last year, 2021, I did go to Morocco and different places, and I decided to pick up my souvenir from Morocco. I enjoyed my time in Morocco, and this was the bag I decided to pick up. If you guys were following me on Instagram, you've seen when I asked y'all which one y'all thought I was gonna pick and all of that good stuff. But yeah, so I decided to pick this bag. This is like the Locket BB. I think that's what it's called. I'm surprised I even got it now that I look back because it is a one handle bag, but it's square. So, and it's pink. I don't have anything pink, even though it's like, like this is actually giving me a lot of 
this is not what you really look for in a bag to be honest but i actually really like it this i use now when i do go to concerts or um tailgating events very casual events because it still looks cute and all but also i could be very sporty with it with the strap i normally don't carry this top handle i normally have it strapped up um with like as a crossbody it is microfiber lining i think it's whatever they use on the inside of here it has a slot here and it's it's a it's a nice size bag it's actually very tight but it's a nice size bag it fits everything i need in there and more very spacious the bottom is kind of wide it does hold quite a bit one thing i realized about this bag though okay so for my lv slgs if you haven't seen that video i have two toiletry bags the one they discontinued yeah the original one so i have the 26 i skipped on the 19 and then i have the 15 even though she offered it to me i was like i don't need the 15 and the 19 because they're very similar in size well i'm glad i didn't get the 19 because i realized this bag is nothing but a toiletry bag with the lid on it yeah i didn't realize that until recently so i want to say i i want to say this size is the size of the 15 but it probably could be like a little bit bigger than the 15 and probably a little bit smaller than the 19 so between the 16 and the 17 i want to say probably a honestly i want to say it's easy it's just a little bit longer you see it but the height is the same the height is the same the width is probably a little bit thicker on the actual bag but it's literally the same thing just with a lid on it with the little pretty thing with the little pretty leather on it and the locket emblem on it and the top handle so i'm glad i didn't get the 19 because i ended up getting this which is similar to the toiletry pouch just in a bag form so it would be ridiculous to me for me to have all three and this bag so yeah what i gotta say with louis vuitton is just just watch out for what they are releasing because a lot of things they are releasing they're just not really creative. It's, it's a lot of nonsense when it comes to like the repackaging of stuff they already have. It's not a lot of new innovational type bags. A lot of it is just <laughs> repackaged differently. That's it. Just look very carefully of the new releases and see how they compare to what they already have and see if it's a major difference because a lot of them is not. All in all, I still like this bag. Like I said, this is going to be my forever memory of my Morocco trip that I took. So I still love the bag. I still enjoy it. I still use it. All right, the next bag, which is second to last, is my Chanel Coco handle. This isn't a size small either small or mini i know there's a size smaller than that that's like the extra small that one i seen in person and it was just looking too weird in person it was looking like scrunched up like i don't know so i decided to get this and this is another destination bag i picked this up last year as well during my birthday trip i went to like three different locations Whew. What a trip. I did pick this up in the south of France. I will always remember this. I picked it up in Cannes. Absolutely love my mini Coco handle only because like this is my first and only Chanel bag. I don't even know if I'm gonna get another Chanel bag to be honest because what Chanel is doing, I really don't care for. I did have my eyes on the trendy cc that actually was my dream chanel bag but i ended up finding this first in store before i was able to get the other one now i don't even know if i want the other one now to be honest 
I'm good with just this if this is in my collection, to be honest. I don't care to get anything else. If I do get the Trendy CC, it would be pre-loved and it will have to be at a discounted price in a good condition. Also, because I already have this bag in the classic quilt, I think I wanted the Trendy CC in the chevron print or the big quilt instead of the small ones yeah and i think i wanted it before 2018 so i did want it a little older and a specific spec in gold hardware as well so if i don't find it it is what it is if i do find it at the price point that i am comfortable to pay then i'll probably take it other than that this is the only chanel bag that i have it's only this and then i have a chanel perfume that's all that i have of chanel that's all i really care to have to be honest so yes if y'all don't know the coco mini it has a pocket on the back it is gold champagne hardware which kind of had me underwhelmed when i seen it to be honest because i love me some gold hardware so this gold champagne is like mm. I wanted that gold. Yeah, I normally carry this top handle. Lately, I've been carrying it with a strap, which is quite surprising for me. When you open it up, it has the same layout as the YSL Lulu. This is a new version, so it does come with the microchip on the inside. But yeah, don't know if I'm gonna get another Chanel bag, to be honest. Like, I'm, at this point, it's like, what's the hype? To be honest, like, let me move on does it have feet yes it does have feet i'm so glad that it's in my collection like if it feels that oh that wants so i'm super 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 proud to be able to get this on my own with my own coins at my own time so i'm so glad i was able to actually pick it up in stores because i almost i was like this close to leaving it in store because I was trying to see if I wanted to get another color, an actual color and not a classic black, but I'm so glad I got the classic black instead of uh, uh, the other random colors that they be having because to be honest, this is the most valued when it comes to the pre-love market. So if I was to sell it, I would get a good chunk of my money back, either break even or make a profit out of it because these are going for like 8K, 8,000. I'm like, what? And I did not pay 8,000. I think I paid like four, four or a little bit more. But now on like Fashion File and all of these other sites are going on for like 8,000. I was like, <laughs> but if I had another one, I would sell it. Because this is my only one, it's gonna be my possession, sorry, sorry. But I love it. I haven't actually been wearing it as of late, to be honest. Maybe I'll take it out tonight for dinner but i still like this they're such a beautiful bag i'm glad that i purchased it last year when i did <laughs> to be honest <laughs> oh my goodness this is such a long video i've been talking for a while y'all y'all just don't know i don't know how i'm gonna cut this all up so it's not such a long video but the last bag that i have and if you guys follow me on instagram you probably seen it when i posted it when my mom was here when we went to abu dhabi i did a little picture with it i didn't say anything about it but for those who have been keeping up with my collection probably realized it was a new bag so the bag reveal my most recent bag and i think this is the only actual purse that i purchased this year i've been really calming down when it comes to buying designer items honestly with all that's going on in the designer space I don't know if I care to purchase any other bags right now. I thought I was going to get another bag that I have been having my eye on. Not the Trendy CC, but another one. Um, right now, it is on a pre-love market, but it is over what I would get it for in Europe. And Europe is not that far from here. So we'll see if I end up snatching it up. I don't know. But as for right now, the end of the year is coming and I really don't care to spend my coins on another bag. So this is going to be my last bag reveal of this year. And it is... <laughs> it is my Gucci Padlock 1955 Top Handle Bag. 
And y'all, I know. Didn't I just say I don't wear Gucci? I know. But this bag, I purchased this in May of this year. And I was quite surprised when I purchased it myself. Like, trust me, I was surprised. I'm not a fan of Gucci because it's a very gaudy. And it's giving me very much in my face tacky. And I really don't like that about it. But this bag is such a beautiful bag. Y'all know I love me a good structure bag. It's structured. Y'all know I love me some gold hardware. It's gold. Gold, gold. Y'all know I love me a top handle. It's top handle. Y'all know I love me mustard yellow. It's mustard yellow. And what sealed the deal for me was this pretty pattern. Um spring type floral pattern on it oh my goodness it is such a very very pretty pretty bag and being that once again i live in dubai this is an all year bag all year around bag like this bag will not go out of style in my wardrobe because it fits all the year all seasons here in dubai um yeah it's such a well-made bag look at this what i have in here gum <laughs> it's such a big open space it fits everything that i need oh the strap is detachable if i do not want to carry it over the shoulders i did purchase this pre-loved and i got a very good price on it which it's funny because when this is why i don't be really getting on the hype when it comes to bags when i first purchased this i wasn't really looking for it at that time i just remember one of my friends had a bag like this and i was like oh yeah that bag was really cute so i decided to go on fashion file to look to see if it's on there and it was and it's funny because it was only like two or three of them on there at that time i think i initially tried to purchase it and somebody already purchased it before i did and i was like all right let me just wait uh, literally that same weekend uh two more came up and i was like you know what this is a sign so i went ahead and hurry up and purchased it now it's not even on the websites anymore no one is selling this so i always feel like when something is for you it's gonna be for you like it's gonna come when it's it, it's for you it's gonna come at the time it needs to come so that's why i don't really get a fomo when it comes to buying anything designer or just buying anything because when it's my time it's gonna be for me and the lord got my back because he's gonna give me a good deal on it so that's why i was very surprised when i was able to pick it up because after i purchased it i went to look back and they were gone i was like wow i really got it at the time and i happened to look for it at that time because i didn't even think of looking for it months before years before i was just thinking about it and i was like oh that is a cute bag and it was hard to actually look up because the name like 1955 uh padlock top handle like it's hard to find it's not as like there's a lot of bags that are named like that from gucci <laughs> so it was very hard to locate other than that i really love this bag i wore it so much now this sits on my shelf this was the last purchase that i made this year back in may all right y'all that is all let me make sure my mic is still on i've been talking for an hour and 30 minutes y'all that is my entire collection i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know which bag you guys like down below yeah all in all like i told you guys i have about 13 bags my cap honestly is gonna be 15 even 13 bags right now is very hard for me to rotate because of my lifestyle it's not as though i am out and about and switching out bags on a regular so for me to have 13 bags and it's hard for me to rotate that means i do not need 15 plus bags in my collection i like to be very practical with what i have i like to be very precise of what comes into my collection or what i am rotating out so i am so grateful and so pleased to be to even have accumulated this many within a short period so i think i'm 
Am I at back peace? I'm at back peace, honestly. But if something good was to come along where it's a good deal and it's something I really, really want, I would definitely consider to add it. With that being said, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at importer underscore chocolate. Follow me on Pinterest. And if you want exclusive content, do not forget to follow me on OnlyFans. I will leave all of the links, all of that down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.